All right. I know there's one here somewhere. We're going to find one. They're very, very, very elusive and sometimes very hard to find. So you have to look very carefully. Oh wait, there's one. All right, now here I have in my hand the common dandelion, Taraxacum officinal. An amazing, amazing plant. Now, rather than saying the dandelion could have its revenge on the world, we're going to say its return because it's an amazing survivalist. Uh, you already know that it can withstand 20,000 volts of electricity and live. It could grow as high as 18,000 feet in places in the Himalayas. As well, if you mow it on the yard, it will have spread little leaves and then come out with a little flower and then spread. If you, it, its leaves spread so no plants can grow around it. If it has high grass, the leaves will go big, big and the flower stalk will go high and seed. So it does everything it can to survive and return. So that's amazing about the dandelion and we have an amazing liver ally, the highest source of plant vitamin A, very good for the kidneys and aids so many things in health and just a great all-around nourisher. So Let's see, think of something we can do with this. Well, right now I can take this and chop this up and make it uh, and put it in the stir fry. Uh, clean it, of course, first. But another thing I was thinking of doing is maybe going and making some roasted root beverage. And then the next thing we do is before we take them in, I or you can do this in your kitchen sink too, is we're going to remove the soil, get that off the roots. Look at those beautiful golden fall dandelion roots. Now it's easy to dig them up in loose soil rather than in hard packed soil like a place like a garden because they come up so easily. And next what we do is we, well after we wash it up is we take it on inside on the cutting board and we're going to chop this up really fine. Okay, it's good. A little bit here. You can do this in the regular oven. I'm going to broil this for until it browns. We'll see how long that takes. But I'm just going to put it in the toaster oven since it's such a small amount. Broil. And we'll set it. Well, it didn't take too long in the toaster oven until they were nice and dried and brown. Depends on what you have it in. But I had it about 350 degrees. So they brown. I'm going to put it in a little pan of water. Put it on the stove. And now it came to a boil and now we're simmering away for 15 minutes. Now I like a little milk in my coffee. I lost my camera person so I have to do this holding the camera in one hand and my roasted root, dandelion roasted root beverage in my dandelion mug. Mm, that's really good. I could probably add a little honey in there too. Well alright. I well, hope you enjoyed uh, the return of the dandelion. So. What stain have there in his hand? Is that dandelion, Ron? Mm-mm. That's cat's ear. It's cat's ear? How do you know? Yeah. Because it doesn't look that much like dandelion and the leaves are fuzzy. The leaves are fuzzier? That, that, those that leaves aren't. So, yeah. Rob, that one, well, let's see. Aha! So, yeah, that leaf is, <laughs> doesn't look a lot like dandelion, huh? Whereas that one, which is smooth, is dandelion, isn't it? Mm-hmm.